All right, what up YouTube? Welcome back to my Bybit Digital course, video number 12, risk versus reward. Now this is probably the single most important aspect when it comes to being successful as a trader. Personally, my skill set and my patience level doesn't allow me to be as good of a trader as I would like to be personally. So I've invited my great buddy onto the show, Kite Crypto. When it comes to trading crypto, I can say this with a very large amount of confidence. Kite is hands down the most humble, honest, down to earth, straightforward, best crypto trader in the game a hundred times over. You guys are watching my digital course. The best part about you finding this digital course, if you don't know who Kite is, this part <laughs> is going to be the absolute best. When it comes to trading crypto, it's not about buying in at absolute bottom or selling at the absolute peak. That's a sucker's game. It's about consistently taking money out of the game and there is no better strategy than the one you're about to learn in this video. I guarantee a hundred times over, this will be the best asset and tool you can add to your trading. So shut up guys, tell me to shut up. Let Kite take over guys, dude's talking too much. Love you guys, thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. Do me a favor, hit that like button. So show Kite some love because it's not just helping me out, but you're helping out the best crypto trader in the game and he deserves it. <laughs> He deserves it all, man. This guy's the, the best dude in the game. No, no, no doubt. Guess what? I'm not a financial advisor. I may have a plethora of crypto knowledge, but this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. You always need to do your own research. I do not advise that you buy, sell, hodl, trade, or invest in any cryptocurrency. And if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button, turn on those post notifications and smash that subscribe button, I would be greatly appreciative. And down in the description, you can always find chapter timelines in case you want to skip ahead, affiliate links, and links to my digital course. Now that we got the YouTube police off our back, let's dive in. Let's get it. I don't typically do recording, and when I do, I try to do it all in one take, no mistakes. So if I get 15 minutes into this video and I start slipping up, don't blame me. All right. Now, let me go ahead and say this video is well worth your time regardless of what the end point is, if it's 20 minutes, 30 minutes, please watch this in full if you're new to trading and intermediate to trading, or if you think that you're advanced, you can always fact check yourself, All right? I've been trading for the past three and a half years. I've been doing so on crypto, but I've kept track of many other markets and saw strategies that work the same there. Regardless if you're in the crypto realm or not, if you're using leverage, even if you're not, this video will be important to you. This is specifically primarily geared towards people using Bybit or leverage on crypto, all right? Because that is a dangerous world to live in. I'm sure you've seen many YouTubers talking about don't use above this leverage, don't use that leverage. All that's bullshit, all right? I'm, this is what this video is about. Your leverage is a variable within the stew of constants that are risk management. Leverage is going to change on a day-to-day -day basis, a trade-to-trade -trade basis, or if you have a direct strategy that calls for a certain level every single time, you're pretty much gonna be using the same leverage all the time. This is what we're here to cover up. So let's go ahead and get started with the nitty gritty. In order to even start this process of trying to figure out what are the mathematics of trading, all right, you need to have a trade strategy. Obviously, before you even have a trade strategy, please have trading psychology down, all right? But obviously, some people just wall and see what sticks. I'm kind of that person as well, so we'll see. No matter what your strategy is, whether it's EMAs, SMAs, uh, MACD crosses, the way that you get to this strategy is not important. The simple fact of it is you're trying to find a couple of different things to make sure that you are long-term successful in this market. One it is win ratio. A common misconception in all markets in trading uh, is you need to have a high win ratio in order to be effective in the market. Now, depending on what market that is, I would say that's pretty accurate. But here's the thing. I've been trading for the past three and a half years, and I probably have, I would say, a 15 to 20% win ratio. Given that fact, you might think I'm pretty crap at trading, but we take a look at my portfolio, you can see the big difference. The reason why is because as we get further into this video, you're going to see that your win ratio, comparative to your risk to reward ratio, are very important factors if you're going to be long-term successful. So once you figure out what your strategy is, hopefully that strategy includes where will I enter? What price am I willing to get out of the trade if things go wrong? And where do I want to take profits roughly? All right, it doesn't have to be exact precision. For example, I loaded up ETH here. 
Now on a larger time scale, I'm identifying this level right here, 2,432, as the level that I would like to short. This now turns my chart into an if this then that statement, basically meaning that if I am below this line, I can stay short. If I go above that line to a certain degree, 1%, 2%, that is completely up to you. I want to get out of the trade, all right? Because one thing that we don't want to do as traders is hold on to losing trades, all right? So that's why if you have a strategy that can identify when trades are beyond a certain point of loss, it's time to get rid of it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a trade as long as I'm below this line. And let's say that I use a 1.5% stop loss. This is on Ethereum. And let's say that I am targeting this lower level right here of 2,149. And I'm going to take my profit a little bit before that level gets hit. You can see right here, using this tool in trading view over off to the side, long position, short position, we can calculate this number right here, 6.79. That is what's called a restored ratio. Basically meaning if I'm willing to lose, all right, and this is very important, what you're willing to lose if I'm willing to lose $100 and I win this trade, I will make $679 back. That's very, very important towards how we're going to play into the mathematics. Obviously, the, the end goal is to find a strategy and you want to find out what the win ratio is and what is the average takeaway when you do win trades. All right. Now, you have to figure this out for yourself. It is person to person dependent. And as well as that, RNG plays a factor. There is randomization in the market. If someone says you have a 30% chance of win, that does not mean that every single time out of 100 trades, you're going to win 30. Sometimes you might win 50. Sometimes you might win 10. But over the course of the last two years that that person has been tracking that record, they might have an average of 30. That's what's important. So now what we can do is we can find out what is the correct leverage to use on this trade, this particular trade that I'm looking at right now. So in the description of this video, there's going to be a link to what's called Kites Restored Calculator. This is a very simple mathematical formula to figure out what is the correct leverage to use based on your risk parameters. Now you can set this calculator up a plethora of different ways to get different leverages, but always willing to lose the same exact amount of money. I can have a 1.5% stop loss and I can configure this calculator to use 20x leverage or 5x leverage it is the same trade. I'm going to make the same exact amount of money and I'm going to lose the same exact amount of money. If that doesn't compute yet, use the calculator for a little bit and kind of conceptualize it for yourself. You might be a hands-on person. So let's say that I have a $1,000 portfolio. I'm going to go ahead and put in $1,000 here. Now, before I fill out these two sections right here, margin size and risk, I'm going to go down here to the stop loss and put in our stop loss. All right, so I have a 1.5% stop loss. Now, what you are willing to lose and your stop loss are completely separate when you're using leverage. Right here, the current way that I have it set up, you can see down here in the bottom left, portfolio at risk is at 0.24%. I would recommend that if you do not have a single clue in the world what your trading strategy and especially for you in particular with that trading strategy has in terms of win ratio and average R&R, &R, you sit in the lower echelon of risk. I know that might not seem exciting to you at first, but please, we will work through this. As you become more secure with the mathematics of your trading strategy, you can push this further towards the limits of high profit and still low risk, all right? But it's all in due time. Let's say that I want to use 1% risk. You can set this up using 8% of my portfolio and using 13%, a little bit less, 12.8, 12.5. Yep. So 12.5% risk of said 8% is 1% of the whole. So risk, what I'm willing to risk, what I'm willing to lose. If I get stopped out of this trade, I'm going to lose $10. $10 of 1,000 is 1%. My margin is 8%, $80. So I'm entering the trade using $80 of my money and the exchange is covering 8X more than that. This is why we use leverage. Leverage, if used correctly, 
is used for one purpose and one purpose only. It is to make sure that the price action that you are taking advantage of, proportionate to how big it is, you get the correct reward size, as well as that portfolio exposure. All right, you do not want to, if you only have $1,000, you do not want to keep $1,000 on Bybit. I personally trust, trust Bybit. I've been using them for three and a half years. I've never had a problem with them, but you don't know what's going to happen in the future. Do you want your entire portfolio on Bybit? I don't think so. So if I want to use even less, I can use 4% of my portfolio as margin, and I can risk 25% of said 4%, which is still $10. So now you can see my leverage goes up, but my stop loss, everything else stays the same. I am still willing to lose $10. Therefore, with a seven R and R, I am going to make $70. See how the leverage is not what's making us money. It's the, it's the other factors that play into leverage. Like I said, leverage allows you to keep less of your money on the exchange, but make just as much as if you had 25%, 50%, even 100%, depending on how risky you're being in the market. So that is how we calculate leverage. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to put this into a conditional. Now, if you're using inverse perpetual, it's as simple as putting in the contract size down here in the bottom right. If you are using USDT, you just need to make sure that when you have 17x leverage selected and you are fat fingering in how much Ethereum to use, that your open short or open long equals 40 USDT. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so let me go ahead. We are on Ethereum right now. We're going to go over here to set a conditional. Now, I'm using a conditional market order, all right, because I am currently above this level and I want to enter as we pass, right? Otherwise I would have to be setting up my computer all day waiting for this to kind of happen, which, you know, I typically am, but for most people not. All right. So I want to enter if we get down to $2,425. So we go over here to the trigger price. We type uh, $2,425. Now I go over here to short and I click on that and I set the leverage to 17x. 17x leverage. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in a random number. Let's say five Ethereum, 2,425, 2,425. So you can see down here, I know it's probably not the best. You can see right underneath open short, our margin would be the equivalent of $731. We're trying to get it down to 40 bucks. All right. So five Ethereum is definitely way too much. Let's try 0 0.5. 0 0.5 Ethereum is worth $73. So now we need less than 0.5. Let's do 0.25. All right, 0.25 is worth 36. So we do 0.27, 39, 0.28, 41, $41. So we need 0.75. We can't do increments of that. So we either have to settle on 39 or $41. It's close enough. What's important is you're paying attention to get as close as possible to the exact amount that you want to, you want to lose. Because if you are kind of choosing what your leverage should be, how much of your portfolio should, you should use based off of how you feel in the market, you're not trading correctly because that is not replicatable over a point of time. As well as that, if you are tracking your statistics properly, that's making it even harder to figure out what is the consistency of what you're doing here. And then I would hit sell short with a TP slash stop loss. And here's the kicker. I don't have to put in the exact number that I want my stop loss to be. So that is $2,455.50. Because I am willing to risk 25% of my margin, all I have to do is go over here to stop loss and hit 25%. That's going to make it, you can see right here, your expected loss will be $10.24. Expected loss, $10. All right, see how that matches up? And then we would hit open short. All right, we would hit open short, hit confirm. And now it is sitting in our conditionals with a stop loss, and we can even set up a take profit. We were looking for, what, 2200 And you can see, if we win this trade, we will make $63. 
So $63 profit divided by $10 willing to lose is a 6.3 restored ratio trade. Why am I talking so much about r and and statistics and all this stuff? This is a very, very important part of the trading process, but when it comes to being an expert trader, if, if you guys, anybody out there listening, wants this to become a full-time job, just know it's not going to happen fast, but you can accelerate that process through the use of crypto because crypto, if done correctly, has minimal risk and a lot of upside. I know that sounds like a sales pitch. I'm very sorry, but it's the truth of it. So right here, this is the Kelly Criterion Bet Calculator. This will also be in the description. This one's not made by me or my team, but this is very, very important. What this does is takes probability and how much are you going to make versus what you're willing to lose. And it gives you an optimal percentage of your portfolio to bet. As we get further, you will see what I'm talking about. If I have a 20% chance to win a trade on average over the course of testing, testing, testing. And every single time that I win a trade, the average risk to reward ratio is an eight. Now I'm using a thousand dollars, but we're going to hit calculate. It says that out of a thousand dollars, I can risk $100 per trade and be safe. If I lived in a perfect world where I only won 20% of the time, right? And I always won eight to one odds, I could use $10. We can even take this a step further and run a simulation. Hopefully this will also be in the description of the video if you guys want to do this. If you guys have a $4,300 portfolio and we punch in these numbers, eight to one odds using a 20% uh, 20 chance, if we could risk 10% of our account per trade, within 50 trades, we would go from 4,000 to 11,000 and then to 15,000, and then to 2 million. Why is everybody not doing this? Because here's the thing. This is if, if we're in a perfect world, that every single time, without fail, every 100 trades, I won 20, and they always had 8 to 1 odds. I could use that number. But we do not live in a perfect world. You are fallible as a human, despite what you might think. And we live in a market, especially the crypto market, where things are volatile and they change all the time. Different strategies work better in certain types of markets. That's why if you have a strategy, it's important to test it all the time and find that average over the course of time, not just over the course of trades, because I'm going to be testing this strategy out during a sideways market, during a bear market, and during a bull market to see how it reacts on average across all three. Then and only then can I find out exactly what I should be betting in terms of per, uh, percentage risk. So this is where you get introduced to something called adjusted Kelly. Kelly is a logarithmic curve basically telling you this is the optimal number to bet where you are, you have the least chance of going bust, losing your entire portfolio, and the most amount of profit. And because we live in a volatile world of emotions and markets, we are going to use adjusted Kelly. Basically meaning if I have these statistics to back this up, even though that is the maximum I could use, we should probably be using in the crypto market, I would say a 10th of that. So what does that equal? 1% risk. So you can see how that 1% rule comes in handy sometimes. So that's what I was saying before. If you are using, you know, uh, based off of what you know, the correct amount of risk and halving that, or even nine tenthsing that, if that's a phrase, then you're gonna be okay. All right, keep up the good work. All right, make sure that any loss that you take, you can add back to the account eventually. All right, and proceed on. Because let's say that we have $1,000 and we have a 20% chance to win and eight to one odds on average and I'm only risking 1%. And let's say over the course of half a year, I enter 500 trades. All right, we added still with 1% to the portfolio, 15X, 
400%. Let's run the simulation again. 23,000. Let's run the simulation again. 19,000. So, even with good risk, we are still making a substantial amount of money. All right now, we can even be using less. One chance we can use 15%. And let's see what we walk away with. All right, with 5% less of a win rate, we only double the account within half the year. The next half, we double it again. All right. I just want you to have realistic expectations. So obviously the psychology of trading is very, very important. All right. Trading, uh, trading in the zone by Mark Douglas is a really good pl uh, place to start. If you guys are looking into that. And then you want to move on to selecting a strategy. Find somebody that has a good strategy or make up your own. But what's next is ruthless amounts of testing. And if you can't get through that, you probably don't have a good chance of making this a career. All right? Because the people that are spending the time to test this and make sure they have it right are the ones that are going to last. And then once you have the statistics over the course of maybe three months, you can start to use a quarter Kelly, a tenth Kelly, and try to push it. Hopefully, this cleared up some misconceptions about how to do things correctly and how to do them incorrectly. Uh, you guys can always leave comments in the comment section asking any further questions that I missed. From what I know, I, I answered it pretty good. So uh, you guys can always catch me in either my live streams or Ryan Matta's live streams. And uh, we're always here to help you. So I appreciate you very much. Hopefully you guys have good weekends, good weeks, and uh, I appreciate your time. I don't do well. I don't do well with goodbyes. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Goodbye. I love you. Be good humans. Goodbye. And the best thing about this indicator, I don't want to say any names, but this really big crypto trader that places million dollar longs to show off his big dong just recently left Bybit because he's not a good trader. And unless he has all you guys taking trades when he places these horrible long positions with million dollar longs, guess what's included with our server? This risk versus reward calculator. Guess where he got it from? His brother called up my buddy, had my buddy show him all about this risk versus reward calculator. When my buddy didn't want to sell it and didn't want to monetize it, they stole it. And it's now included with our server for free. And now it's included with the thousand dollar market. <clears throat> so just want to throw that out there. I mean, you know, pretty, pretty shady when you reach out to somebody about the risk versus reward calculator they created. You steal it from them. You then delete them from Discord and delete all the messages. But good thing my buddy's smart enough to screen record that. And I really hope he hires an attorney and goes after him for that 100%. I'm just going to throw that one out there. All right, YouTube, that's a wrap on my Bybit digital course, risk versus reward calculator. Do me a favor, guys. If you guys haven't checked out my free Bybit digital course, it's rolling out today. I have a ton of great videos. This is video number 12, and it's all free. I wanted to do something. I wanted to give back to everybody that's shown up and supported this channel so far because I couldn't have been able to do half of this thing. I could not have been able to do half the things I've done on this channel without everybody that shows up and pays that $9.99 a month for my crypto coaching digital course. Even after they take the course, people still pay and they still stay signed up. And I honestly, I appreciate you guys. And that's what allows me to never really shill coins. That's what allows me to never shill coins and to constantly be putting out good quality crypto related content that helps you guys become better crypto traders and investors. So I, I'm greatly appreciative and I hope you guys enjoy this free digital course. And don't forget to swing over to Bybit, grab that $20 first time sign up bonus. Grab that $50 first time deposit bonus and keep checking that rewards hub because rumor has it, Bybit might be giving us our own special little first time reward thing for new members that sign up using my affiliate link. So hopefully they'll get that to me. And if they do, check that rewards hub, guys. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you guys next video. Shout out to Kite Crypto, guys. Go hit, go show him some love, guys. If you guys are watching this video and you're not going to go over and you've made it to the end of this video and you don't go right over and subscribe, subscribe to Kite's channel. Yo, that's like 10 years bad karma on your trading strategies, guys. Don't, don't be that guy that puts himself in the doghouse. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Go show Kite some love. Love you guys. Peace.